You know, I would say that the start in photography was just a byproduct of actually going to art school. I, um, I, I enjoyed looking at my grandpa and grandpa's pictures, these old still prints, you know, and I saw that stuff, and I think that was probably the first time that I really got attracted to, you know, to art in general. Back in 94, I was entered to uh, Academy of uh, Art School uh, for a movie making degree in photography, basically. I got my start in photography a little bit later in life. I've always enjoyed photography and looking at pictures, but it wasn't until my wife and I started traveling around the world that uh, I started taking more pictures, uh, trying to document the historical sites or the beautiful landscapes that, uh, um, that really got me interested in photography. I'd say my favorite aspect of photography, other than just the graphic nature of it, is actually the story that the picture tells. I find that really interesting to look at someone's face when they're looking at the photography, and that's a, that's a photo moment in itself. How photography and engineering have fit together for me is, it, they're both, it both comes down to creativity. When I'm behind a camera, it's a different type of creativity, but with engineering, it's about coming up with a creative solution for the connectivity that the customer wants. You know, I look at the composition of an interior, I look at the colors, the combinations of materials, textures, grains, how the lights play off the darks, just the beauty and form. And it's probably the same way I look at photography is the same way. This is just a beautiful still image of combination of all these graphics and colors and textures. To look in the view, it's not, it's not just a, a structure of design elements or a design form vocabulary. The, the Dubuque is, it's a fluent lines and a balance into the one pure form.